Let's just do that now. Let's go and do that right now. Uh, I'll go and do mine first. Uh, of course, I do five and six as well. Okay. I'll start off with this, though. I think LSU, if they if they beat Georgia and they beat them handily, I think Georgia uh, boosts LSU up to number one. I agree. So I've got LSU one. I've got Ohio State two. I've got Clemson three. I don't think there's anything that Clemson can do uh, to, to warrant moving them up at all. I think they're just stuck they, at they three. They would need Ohio State to – now let me ask you this. Let's say Wisconsin just plays Ohio State to a stalemate. And and Ohio State wins in one of these weird overtime games where they get the two point conversion. Okay, does that bump Ohio State down and Clemson to two? Not that it changes the matchup; everything is the same. But does no. that change anything for you? No, I don't think so. See, I don't either. Like I think it. Everybody goes through like a, a close game. Wisconsin would still be not I a great to three loss team to the best to the best team that. Clemson has played all year. They would. I mean, they would be double. No, they would be against everybody. Clemson played all year. They, Clemson doesn't play a single team that won't have four losses. Yeah, like there's not a, there's not one. Like you go through and look at they beat North Carolina uh, by nobody, one point. Nobody will be ranked when their season is done. Yeah, because they're going to beat Virginia, and Virginia will be nine and four, and they will be out of the top twenty five. And. Texas A&M is now a seven and five football team. South Carolina went four and eight, um, and then I mean they beat Charlotte, which ain't the same as Charlotte seven and five. So at least they got a team with a winning record there. I mean that's right. We're we're grasping at straws here. Uh, and for so, four, you got Utah. Uh, four, yeah, I've got Utah. I think Utah is going to blast Oregon. Um, wow, you think they'll? Blast I really them. think they're going to beat them pretty pretty soundly. I think Oregon like can keep it close for a little while. But man, this I'm telling you, this defensive line and this um the, the offense, like with Tyler Huntley and Zach Moss, so long as they're both uh, in uh, the tight end, whoever the tight end is, he is fast, good graces, he's unreal. But uh but yeah, I think the offense, I mean, they have been one of the most efficient offenses in the country since both of those guys have come back healthy. I I think they put Utah in because they they look at game control, and they look at strength of record, and they look at, you know, the, how well you have dominated against your schedule, and I understand that their schedule is not as good as Oklahoma or Baylor's, but Oklahoma and Baylor have had trouble with a lot of, t- there's been a lot of overtimes, a lot of close one, two, three point, whatever. You know, Utah had that one loss. Other than that, man, they have dominated everything else. And I just think that's insane that, yes, they have close games because they play better teams. Like, that has to matter. You can't just say you beat the hell out of everybody. I, well, yeah, you beat the hell out of a bunch of nobodies. I understand where you're coming from, but the way that the committee has done it I agree. in the no, past. You're probably right. You're probably right in this. I have a, a weird gut feeling. I don't think that game's going to be the way you think it is. I've been wrong a lot lately on that, that kind of stuff, though. Um, I think Oregon's going to play them to a stalemate. I think Oregon's going to show up. I think Mario Cristobal needs this game to prove that he belongs in, in that upper echelon coaching and Oregon is that program. Um, he oh, needs my, a marquee win. He didn't have it. My my five and six, I've got Baylor at five, and then I've got Utah, I mean, uh, uh, Georgia at six. Uh, yeah. I think I think Baylor gets the win over Oklahoma. I think this is revenge. I think okay. this is – and I think they're – They've got their own end. That's fine. Let, yeah. all right, so, so my top three are the exact same as your top three. Okay. And, and I honestly think – I think Utah is going to struggle with Oregon. They might win the game. They might lose the game. I don't know why. I I feel like I'm trying to predict the future here. I think Baylor's going to beat the hell out of Ohio, Oklahoma. I mean, I think they're going to beat the hell out of them. That's going to kind of put you in a weird spot, isn't it? Oh, no. no LSU there'll be Baylor? no weirdness to it whatsoever. I love Matt Rule. What he's doing at Baylor is insanely impressive. I would really like for him to be the head coach of the Cleveland Browns next year. That's all fine. <laughs> That's all fine. There is no weirdness here. Let's not get confused when if like you're LSU an LSU fan is up against yeah. Baylor. Yeah, you're an LSU fan. That's the way that it's going to be. Yes, I, that's, I, and that no, no, that we're not we're not weird <laughs> at all. Um, it, it'll just it'll just be what it'll be. That's fine. There but you go. I I kind of think they're going to beat them impressively because of how bad that game got on them. 
Um, the first time they played, they got up, scored 28 almost unanswered points, held Baylor to, uh, held Oklahoma to nothing, and then just completely fell apart in the second half. They got three points in the second half. That was it. I don't see that happening at all. Well, I think did. this offense is rolling. I think that defense is pissed off. And they didn't have the best player on defense for the Oklahoma game the first time. They, uh, it, I will say this. In the two games since, uh, they beat Texas 24-3, basically. They gave up a garbage time touchdown with four seconds left. But they dominated that game. Yep. And then, and they, then they beat they up on Kansas, 61-6. to 61-6, to six. yeah, 61-6. So, so. I, I think, I mean, they could do it. They could easily do it. I think I, I wonder how bad does Utah have to beat Oregon if they beat the hell out of Oklahoma. I I wonder And Oklahoma might win that game. I could be completely off on that. I just have this weird feeling that they're gonna show up for that game. They're gonna be more ready and more prepared than Oklahoma is. And I think they're gonna beat the hell out of it. Yeah, yeah, I think you, you might be right. You might be right. I mean, I've got Baylor winning the game, uh, but it sounds like you are looking at it. With a much different point spread than than I am. I do. I do. I hope Oklahoma's so, favored in that game. I, I need a money line team to bet on because there aren't a lot of dogs. I think can actually. Oh, win Oklahoma week. will be favored. Oklahoma will be favored. Yeah, but I want it to be worth my time. Oh, I I mean I don't think it'll be crazy. I mean I, I think we're probably talking two hundred. If I can get plus two hundred, I'll be thrilled. Oh well, I mean we'll see that today. I don't know that I'm going to get that. I'm I'm betting it's going to be about a touchdown. So it's probably going to give me like plus one forty, maybe. I'll take it. It may be. I mean, you may get plus one fifty. So, but we'll see. It. That stuff will come out uh, later on Sunday. I wish so. we lived somewhere where I could get some alternative lines. That's all I want. Because I, because I would take Baylor minus seven at a plus, you know, seven hundred. Oh, that'd be fun. I mean, I would, I would absolutely lay a boatload of points to get a bunch of money back. Yeah, I could see it. I can see it. You get that stuff in in, in Vegas in at Vegas. South Point and everything else. So. Yeah, there's there's no place in Tunica and not any place that I've found online that does that stuff. So no, you got that right. Uh, all right, that'll work. I think that's going to wrap up today's show. Of course, uh, we appreciate all of you for hopping in. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, uh, share the show out, leave some comments, tell us what your top five are, or top four, top ten, whatever. Uh, who do you think is going to make the playoff? Um, we want to know. We want to hear your opinions. If you are listening on the podcast, make sure you hit the subscribe button and leave a nice review, especially on Apple Podcasts. That helps out the algorithm a bunch, helps us out, helps get us in front of more people. We want to grow the community. You guys are awesome, of course, so we want to keep this thing going. And, of course, let's talk about the sponsors. SmackApparel.com, go check it out. Use promo code WIN. You get a 20% uh, uh, off, 20% discount. That's it. Uh <laughs> So yeah, smackapparel.com, promo code WIN, and any order that is over $40 ships for free. They got fun stuff, man. College and pro teams, whatever your favorite team is, go check it out. They got fun, like, novelty shirts. They got just good-looking shirts as well. Great logos, all sorts of stuff. Go check it out, smackapparel.com. And, as always, the show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six wonderful sports books. We, I'm telling you, we vouch for all of them. They're all great. Go check them out for yourself. You can find more information on them over at tunicatravel.com. If you're planning on coming in for a big game, something like that, hit us up. We'd love to come hang out with you. We'd love to shake your hand, tell you thank you for uh, for supporting the podcast. I think that's going to wrap it up. Anything else we need to hit? No, that's it. See you that's much. it. We will see you guys again next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.